Ini putih ni kalau kita biarkan ini buang kain. Ini buang kain, ini buang kain. Jadi maknanya penggunaan kain tu banyak. Creativity, patience, and consistency are characteristics required by tailors. Learning the skill and art of tailoring and fashion design is not an easy job. It is more than measuring, cutting, and stitching, simply because tailors are responsible for constructing, altering, and even repairing or modifying garments for customers based on their specifications, needs, and preferences. They hold the responsibility of taking customers' measurements, assisting in fabric selection, and most importantly, arranging fitting slots to determine whether additional alterations are needed. As for family-owned businesses in this industry who have been around for the past 88 years, Omar Ali Boutique does not need much of an introduction. Established in 1935 by the founder, the late Haji Omar Ali, it all started when he apprenticed for a Japanese lady who specialized in creating women's ballroom gowns, popularly worn by the wives of British expatriates living in this country during that era. Hadi Omar Ali opened his first shop within the Masjid India Enclave in 1935 and has since successfully built a reputation as a maker of excellent quality baju melayu. 88 years on, this family legacy is still going strong. The vibes, culture, and lifestyle made their way to Kampung Baru and spoke to Aziza Omar Ali, the current managing director, and Bahtiar Afandi Omar, both the children of the late Omar Ali. Our tailoring business started from our father in uh, 1935, established in 1935. So, from there until uh, we take over since uh, 1979 after he passed away then sampai sekarang kita manage his business it's already 88 years this year actually my father pun dia bukannya <laughs> nak kita jadi tukang jahit tetapi benda tu datang dengan sendiri Minat tu datang dengan sendiri. Actually, uh, most of my family pun they are pergi university, you know. They have kalau nak ikutkan dekat luar sana dia boleh kerja apa yang dia ambil lah dengan dia punya apa uh, qualification yang dia. Tapi semuanya balik ke tailoring. Maknanya contribute ke tailoring. Kita buat sekarang ni Omar Ali, which is now kita dah ada uh, 8, 8 outlet. Dulu dia dressmaker. Dia masa British dulu dia jahit uh, gowns, ballroom, apa ni dinner, dinner punya for ladies. Dia ladies tailor. And then uh, kebaya, uh, kebaya sulam, embroidery. Dia tukar business dia in 1972 change to menswear maknanya dia buat boots lah uh, ladies and menswear dulu ladies saja sebelum tu and then dia punya customer pun those days orang-orang yang yang berduit lah dia punya customer semua yang baik-baik customer dia sebab mungkin kepakaran dia bila my brother balik daripada England belajar uh, Syahril dia yang dulu pergi ke England belajar bahagian menswear ni dia balik Omar Ali mula bertukar kepada menswear 
Lepas tu saya dihantar ke sana tahun 73 dan 75 balik saya pula get evolved dengan uh, Omali. By the 1970s, the late Omar Ali was inspired to try a new niche in the local market as he realized the supply for baju Melayu was increasing and he was quick to think of alternatives. He introduced the ready-made baju Melayu that created a buzz, which is trendy to this very day. We started buat baju Melayu ready-made. Kita yang pertama sekali, saya rasa, dekat Malaysia ni, yang start buat ready-made tahun 70-an. Uh, memang sambutan bagus. Uh, daripada situ, sampailah ke hari ini, kita kita buat ready made bertambah-bertambah tiap-tiap tahun. Dulu kita buat ready made tu sampai tak cukup. Sampai yang kotor pun orang beli. Dia tak payah nak tempah, dia ambil, dia terus. Masa tahun 70-an ni orang masih lagi suka buat. Dia orang tak suka beli ready made ni. Ha, tapi ki, bila kita start buat di situlah mula orang nak nak beli ready made. Mungkin my father dia fikir tiap-tiap tahun bila tempahan masuk tu tak cukup tak cukup nak membantu orang yang pelanggan dia yang datang tu maknanya overload kan. Jadi dia kata why not dia buat ready made. Dia nak dia try lah tahun tu. Try rupanya menjadi Orang boleh beli ambil, dah tak payah nak tunggu-tunggu lagi. Although the brand Omar Ali has eight successful running outlets now, the clan has never forgotten their roots. They hold dear their family history and father's legacy. Both the siblings reiterate that their childhood neighborhood, Kampung Baru, still plays an important role in their lives a place where their family rose to fame by emphasizing traditional fashion. Because kita kan anak jati Kampung Baru. Kita try to bangunkan Kampung Baru ni, kan? Sebenarnya kita bangga jadi anak Kampung Baru ni, sebenarnya. Pasal itulah kita pun rasa elok kita buka office kita di sini, buka perniagaan kita di sini dan kita, daripada sinilah kita, kita kembangkan ke tempat-tempat lain. Kita lebihkan tradisional. Umar Ali dia punya niche tradisional. Baju Melayu, baju kurun tradisional. Tapi ada juga yang moden. Tapi majority is tradisional. Apart from that, it is also known that the brand Umar Ali caters for an upper-class clientele since its establishment. Among them was Malaysia's first prime minister, Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj, whose traditional baju Melayu was refashioned with a three button version, as opposed to the five button Cikap Musang collar and a Mandarin collar that was dubbed the Tunku collar baju Melayu and is recognized till this very day. Other than that, it is also known that Omar Ali is still catering to the needs of their customers who are into their fifth generation. Masih lagi. Masih. We have politician, we have royalties datang dekat kedai kita untuk menempah. Corporate figure, you know. Memang banyak customer yang uh, daripada raja-raja, ya. Uh, dan orang biasa. Dan kita punya customer tu daripada atas sampai ke bawah. Uh, kita maknanya... Kita ada macam lima generation punya customer. Daripada Tok Nyang dia, Datuk Datuk ni ni. Continue. Kita masih ada customer yang continue, hmm. five generation. Dia macam pelanggan yang setia lah. Ha. Dia mesti pakai baju Umar Ali. Dia tak boleh pakai baju lain. <laughs>